Shares of Apple dipping about 3% today after unveiling this pair of new MacBook models, including a bold claim that the machine is, quote, the world's best consumer laptop for AI. That's the focus of today's Tech Check with Deirdre Bosa. Morning, D. Hey, good morning, Carl. So what exactly does the world's best consumer laptop do? Basically, better camera features, speech-to-text, translation, autofill, etc. More of an evolution of stuff that we already have, that our iPhones already do, and that we expect versus something more groundbreaking, like, for example, a new Siri chatbot. And that may not be enough. As investors, they're getting impatient searching for Apple's AI strategy. Shares are down nearly 10 percent this year, and they're down 3 percent today. The release of an AI laptop, this highlights an upsell cycle strategy, the idea that Apple can leverage AI features to its products to encourage customers to upgrade or pay for additional services. Samsung, it's already trying to do this with its latest Galaxy smartphone lineup, and it is likely that Apple is going to do this again with new iPhone models. Now, the street, though, is divided on whether it's enough, whether that can get Apple caught up in this AI race. Malleus Research writing this morning, forget the car. What matters most for this stock is the AI strategy launch coming in June. Now, for them, it is the most important launch since the iPhone that it says could drive a super cycle. So that would certainly change the thesis there. But as investors, they await this potentially, and I highlight potentially big announcement, others in the space are pushing forward. Today, Gen AI startup darling Anthropic debuted Cloud 3. That is its most powerful chatbot yet. Google's Gemini launch, we've been talking a lot about it. It was a mess, but it continues to test to get it right. And by the way, also released an open source large language model, which some believe could prove more exciting than anything that we're using now. And I just wanted to point out this chart as well from the journal today, because if you follow the dollars like we do, there is this major delta in R&D spending between Apple and other mega caps. Apple on the far left of your screen, its total R&D outlay last year represented less than 8 percent of its annual revenue. Alphabet and Amazon averaged more than 17 percent of their reported revenue. Meta, nearly 30 percent. Now, if Apple does need to play catch up and build up infrastructure and buy GPUs like some of its competitors, this could be a long uphill battle. But I say, guys, this is a very contentious issue in tech, whether AI is going to kind of be able to leapfrog some of the others because of that billion, two billion installed base or whether it really does need to play catch up here.